Computers were made of wires, circuits, and chips. But what if computers were made of something living, something organic? Welcome to the world of biocomputers, where the future of computing is based on living organisms. In today's video, we will explore the world of biocomputers, their history, how they work, their current applications, and their future potential. The story of biocomputers began in the early 20th century, when researchers started studying the way living organisms process information. In the 1960s, the first biological computer was developed, which used enzymes to perform calculations. The first biocomputer made entirely of living cells was developed. To understand what a biocomputer is, we must first look at traditional computers. Traditional computers are built using electronic components such as transistors, resistors, and capacitors. These components are organized in complex circuits to perform various operations, such as arithmetic and logic functions. A biocomputer, on the other hand, is built using biological components such as DNA, proteins, and enzymes. The components of a biocomputer are interconnected in a way that they can perform computational tasks, just like a traditional computer. Biocomputers work by taking advantage of the incredible computing power of DNA molecules. DNA molecules are the building blocks of life and contain genetic information that is used to create proteins. Biocomputers use this information to perform computations. The DNA molecules are manipulated using enzymes, which act as biological switches to turn different parts of the DNA on and off. Biocomputers have the potential to revolutionize several areas of research and development. Let's take a look at some of the applications of biocomputers. One of the most promising applications of biocomputers is in drug discovery. Biocomputers can be used to simulate the interactions between drugs and their targets, allowing researchers to design more effective drugs in a shorter time. Traditional methods of drug discovery can take several years, and often the drugs that are developed have significant side effects. Biocomputers have the potential to speed up the drug discovery process while reducing the risk of side effects. Biocomputers can also be used in biomedical engineering to create smart implants that can monitor and control biological processes. For example, biocomputers can be used to design insulin pumps that release insulin in response to changes in blood sugar levels. Biocomputers can also be used in the field of artificial intelligence. Biocomputers can be programmed to perform complex computations, such as image recognition, using DNA molecules. This could lead to the development of more efficient and powerful AI systems. While biocomputers hold a lot of promise, there are also several challenges and limitations that need to be addressed. One of the main challenges with biocomputers is cost. Currently, biocomputers are expensive to build and operate, which limits their widespread adoption. Another challenge is scalability. Biocomputers are currently limited in the size and complexity of the computations they can perform. This makes it difficult to apply biocomputers to large-scale problems, such as weather forecasting or stock market prediction. Despite the challenges and limitations, the future of biocomputers looks promising. Researchers are working hard to overcome the challenges and develop new applications for this groundbreaking technology. Researchers are working to develop smaller and more efficient biocomputers that can perform more complex computations. As with any new technology, it is important to consider the ethical implications and use it responsibly. We hope you found this video informative and engaging. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on the latest technology advancements. Thank you for watching.